Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I've made an amazing discovery. Well, actually, I made this discovery a little while ago. Some of you may recognize the video, Too Little Too Late Analysis. This video is kind of a remake of that video. But that video did not have very many views, and I wanted to get this out so that all of you can hear it. Also, the recent events of Season 3B support it even more, so it's due for a remake. Now, I do want to say just before we start, I'm going to be unbiased as I can towards Starco. I do ship Starco, but a lot of you ship Tomstar and get mad at me for shipping Starco, like, biasly in videos like this. I'm going to be as unbiased as possible. Anyway, in that video I talked about the song Too Little Too Late, and in that song we can see Marco and Tom singing in the episode Frenemies. This is after Marco finds out that Tom has been using him to complete an anger management badge. Tom starts off by singing the first verse. You were my angel, my beautiful dog. Then both Marco and Tom start singing the second verse. Nothing could tear us apart. And finally it goes to only Marco for the last three lines. Till the day you broke my heart, and now it's too little too late. Just imagine that instead of Marco, we have Star, and we flip the roles. This would mean that Star is singing the first verse, then both Tom and Star are singing the second verse, and finally wrapping it up with Tom singing the last couple of lines. Now you may be wondering, why did I replace Star with Marco? Well, let's step back a bit and talk about the song Just Friends. In Season 2, the song Just Friends was the story of Star's life, and in Season 3, it was the story of Marco's life. If you don't believe me, you can go watch my analysis on Just Friends, and I explain everything in that video, so if you're interested, you can go check that one out. I brought up Just Friends because it shows us that the songs mean something. They aren't just songs, they are messages. And if we dive a little bit deeper into Too Little Too Late, we find that it's the story of Season 3. Let's refer to one of the lines in Too Little Too Late. We spiraled high on a gust of love. At first glance, this may mean nothing to you, but this is a huge part of this theory. If we go back to the episode Club Stubbed, yeah, see, some of you already get it. In that episode, we can see that Tom and Star start to dance. They spiral high in a gust of love when starting to dance. The next line is, and I knew right from the start, implying that the spiraling high of the gust of love was the first time their love started in this scenario, which is true. At the very end of the episode, we can see Star looking at Tom in a certain way, implying that she has a new crush, i.e. the start. Now that we've established that, I want to go back to my original video. This was before we even had a Season 3B, so this was a fairly long time ago. In that video, I talked about the Till the Day You Broke My Heart part, because this was before Season 3B. We did not know what that was. I speculated that Tom was breaking Star's heart. Obviously, that was wrong. It was actually Star that was breaking Tom's heart. And in a little episode called Booth Buddies, <laughs> we could see that Star and Marco kiss. Wait, what? Yeah, boom. Star literally cheated on Tom. And we can see that she had to lean in to kiss Marco. There was no hesitation whatsoever until after the kiss. In my opinion, this whole dating Tom thing was a way to not think about Marco. We see that in one episode, one episode before Club Snubbed, Star was still obsessing over Marco and his hoodie. That seems a little fast to forget about the crush you've had on someone for quite some time now. So going back to the song, Booth Buddies fills the part of Till the Day You Broke My Heart. And the second to last line is saying that it's too little too late. This theory is great and all, but there is something that's probably on our minds. Tom seemed okay with the whole kiss thing. We didn't see him mention it in the finale to Star, but after he found out, he started acting a little bit different. I want to point out one part in particular. In Conquer, when Star is feeling sad and powerless by the lake the Magic Sanctuary is in, Tom says, I promised Marco I would keep you safe. At first, this might not seem like anything special, but okay, first of all, 
I couldn't actually find when he said, I'll promise to keep Star safe or something along those lines. Second, he said Marco. Don't you think that a boyfriend would be like, oh baby, I can't lose you, I need to keep you safe. But instead, he said Marco. I think that this is him actually realizing that Marco means more to Star than he does. Let's reference another part in this episode. When Marco's soul gets back to him and he is sitting on Star, Tom comes in. He says, aw, I'm just gonna make this weird. There are so many things to say about this scene. First of all, if Tom wasn't there, Star and Marco may have, probably, kissed again. I mean, just look at this. Tell me that this does not look like a kissing scene. Another thing to point out, Tom says, aw. I don't think he would be saying that if he didn't find out they kissed. You could disagree with me, but I think everything adds up. I feel like if Tom didn't accept that Tom Star was over, he would be reacting much differently. He probably would be a little bit mad about Star almost kissing Marco again when he was in the same room. But instead, he was super chill about it. He was super chill about the Starco kiss in general. Divide and Conquer really made me like Tom, so much so that if Tom Star was Endgame, I would be perfectly fine with it. I ship Starco, but I like Tom to the point now that I'm okay with Tom Star now. So Too Little Too Late has just played the story of Season 3, except for the last two lines. That is the Too Little Too Late part. That is foreshadowing events in Season 4, i.e. the Tom Star breakup. I'm assuming that it'll go a little something like Tom saying, I love you, but it's clear that you love Marco more. You kissed him and you didn't even tell me. I think it's time that we break up. You'll be way happier this way. Then he will leave and Star will be sad for a bit, and then Star and Marco will get together and boom, you have Starco. I did want to mention the little bit of Season 4 that we have seen already. That image looks like Marco is saying something like, so yeah, I did tell Tom we kissed, sorry. And Star just like looks shocked or something because she seems like she's like, oh, what? It's just that look and gesture of Marco that makes me believe something similar to this is going to happen. But it may be something entirely different. This is also the second part of episode one, so we have already had a full 10 minute story to watch. Anything can happen at this point. We will have to wait to find out for sure. Now I know the Tom Star ending is not confirmed, but there is a lot of evidence pointing to it. I have also had a lot of predictions come true before, so there's also that. But what do you guys think? Is this the end of Tom Star? Let me know down in the comments. Also, let's try to keep the comment section not toxic, please, and thank you. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on this video, it's greatly appreciated. We also have social media such as Twitter and Instagram if you'd like to follow us there for like updates on the channel and things. And if you'd like to talk with me or other members of the fandom, we have a Discord. Discord is a message server that is similar to like a big group chat, but it's way more organized. Feel free to come join and chill with me and everyone else in it. But that's all for me today, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Where does the corn go? Oh, the corn. It goes in the hole. <laughs>